everyone, and thank you for checking out today's video. Welcome to my channel, Me and My Jackets. My name is Chris. Today we are doing a video. We're looking at two different resort ski jackets from uh, Heli Hansen. We're going to take a look at these two jackets. Um, this is a little cheaper one. This is more expensive. We're going to show you what the differences are and what you're going to get, you know, when you buy uh, this jacket and what you get when you upgrade to something like this. So we're going to talk all about it and give you as much information about that as I can. So to get started, um, welcome to the channel. We have all kinds of videos here all about outdoor products um, from base layers to jackets, pants, boots, um, even we're going to get into some backpacks and sunglasses as well. I have a website, uh, meandmyjackets.com, where we basically talk about what to wear when we go out there. Everything for hiking, trekking, snowboarding, skiing, climbing, camping, fishing, whatever you're doing out there. Um, this website and this channel is going to help you to figure out what to wear to help keep you warm, dry, and comfortable while we're doing all those activities. So please um, check it out. And um, again, today we're looking at two ski jackets from Heli Hansen. So Heli Hansen is an amazing company, um, really like their products. And this jacket that I'm wearing here is the Carve Leaf Aloft um, ski jacket. And this jacket here is the Alpha 4.0 ski jacket. So this jacket is about $100 cheaper than this one. So I kind of wanted to go over what the difference is and what you get with this one and what you're paying for with this one. Okay, so you can um, know what you know to look for when you're out there shopping for these things. So as I said, the Carve jacket is a really nice kind of a mid-range ski jacket. Um, it is insulated. It has what they call leaf aloft insulation, which is basically um, a combination of Heli Hansen's Leafa insulation and Prima Loft insulation. It's a lightweight and very warm insulation that they, they, they've developed. And it also, both of these jackets use um, what's called Helitech. So Helitech is a windproof, waterproof, breathable membrane, similar to a Gore-Tex, similar to Patagonia's h 2 No. Um, I have a pair of boots that uses H-Dry. Um, there's several different um, membranes out there. Heli Hansen developed their own and they call it Helitech. Now there's three different grades of Helitech. Um, there's basically the standard Helitech. There's the Helitech Performance, which is what's in this jacket. And then there's Helitech Professional, which is what is in this jacket. All right. So basically this jacket, as I said, it's a mid-range jacket. It has some nice features in it, um, but um, this one definitely has more. All right. Um, this jacket, you have two nice pockets here in the, in the front, hand pockets. Um, it has a pocket here up on, on the chest pocket. Now, both of these jackets have this chest pocket here. Um, and these pockets are what they call life pockets. So what that means is it has a special aerogel insulation in that pocket that helps to protect your cell phone. To, help keep the cell phone battery warmer so that it doesn't go dead so fast in the cold. All right, so it's, it's meant to keep your cell phones lasting longer, the charge. Um, they both have nice Velcro, you know, cuffs here on the sleeves. This kind of has a wrist gaiter, okay? Um, this one has, I'll put this on too in a bit, a tighter a, a more sealed wrist gaiter with a thumb loop in it, okay? So that's a difference there. They both have little pockets here on the sleeve for a ski pass, okay? Um, this one has two pockets in the front. 
This one has just the one. They both have nice helmet compatible hoods um, with a yellow, fluorescent yellow brim around it. Um, they are both adjustable with the pull cord in the back as well as two adjustments inside. So they're both nice helmet compatible hoods. The hood on this jacket, however, is removable. Okay, so this um, does, you know, come off. There's a zipper in the back here that you can take the hood off. Um, this jacket has pit zips, which is a really nice uh, feature as well. Um, we're going to get into that more here. So basically, all right, um, nice inside, just real quick, little zipper pocket here inside. A nice mesh dump pocket in here for your goggles or whatever you want to put in it here. And a um, nice powder skirt, right? They are ski jackets, so to have a nice powder skirt inside here. Okay, so that's the carved jacket, all right? Really nice, um, comfortable jacket here inside as well. The um, pit zips on this jacket are... Um, mesh lined as well so they you know you can open them up they will allow some heat to come out but hopefully keep some of the snow and ice you know from getting in the Alpha 4.0 is one of Heli Hansen's most popular and best-selling ski jackets um, like I said it's about a hundred dollars more in price US dollars um, than the carved jacket here. So here's the, the wrist gaiters on here, okay? Definitely a tighter fitting wrist gaiter with the thumb loop in it. So really nice there. Again, this is the Helitech Professional. It's the top of their line, uh, waterproof, breathable, windproof membrane. Um, the jacket has 80 grams of um, Prima Loft insulation inside. All right, the two chest pockets. This one is the life pocket. Um, and this too has the little ski pass pocket here. Um, two nice pockets on the sides. The detachable hood. Now the hood comes off, but there's also a really nice um, collar all around here that when you take the hood off, you have a nice um, collar all around your neck. The collar does have like a softer kind of a light fleece, just a nice soft material on the inside around your neck, so it's a nice touch. The hood comes off very easily. Um, basically, um, it has a zipper around the back, and then it, let me zip this up, it Velcros in inside the collar in the front of the collar so it's really easy to take off and put back on again um, nice touch same adjustments as that one has a pull cord on the back and it has two pulls in inside the sides here okay so reco reflector on this and a reco reflector on this one which is really nice now the reco reflector is a device that search teams rescue teams can use to find you if you're lost in the mountains, in the woods, in the snow. Um, it has this special reflector that basically what they do is they have a helicopter with a special device that sends down a signal. That signal um, reflects off of this piece and goes back up to the helicopter and they can locate you with that. So usually, typically, it's found on you know higher end ski jackets um, and pieces, um, but Heli Hansen put it into this jacket here as well, which is really nice. Um, it's a nice feature. Since it is a resort ski jacket, it's nice that they do include it, and it is right here in the sleeve. So that's definitely a nice feature on that. Um, the big difference with this jacket, this has nice Velcro here too. It's adjustable here on the bottom. And it has, you know, the powder skirt, the whole bit here on the bottom as well. Mesh dump pocket here. 
uh, no zipper pocket on this side, but it has the extra pocket outside here. Um, the nice thing with this jacket that this one does not have is a technology that Heli Hansen uses called H2 Flow. Um, it's basically a breathable um, insulation and venting system inside the jacket. Um, it has <laughs> it has some nice mesh flaps here um, on on the jacket that helps the hot air to get in here. And when we open up the pit zips here, um, there is that same mesh lining inside here, but it allows that air to vent from your body through the insulation and out the pit zips. So um, definitely a really nice feature on these jackets, okay? So you can kind of see, see it here, how it's vented. So great for, you know, the high output activities and skiing. Now, this Alpha 4.0 is a regular fit as is the carve. Now most of these ski jackets are a regular fit and not so tight trim fitting simply because they're going to allow for a lot of movement. Um, you know when you're skiing right you need to be able to move and to be flexible so you don't want to have a real tight jacket on. Um, this jacket is actually a four-way stretch material as well. So this gives a little more stretch flexibility in the fabric in the jacket itself. This one does not, all right? Um, but this jacket also, to me, is a little, just a little bit more trim fitting than that one, okay? Um, <laughs> I can fit a nice heavier weight fleece under each one with no problem. Um, but I don't think I really, just me personally, I don't think I'd really want to go too much heavier. A lightweight insulated jacket, if I need, can probably fit under both comfortably. But this jacket is just a little trimmer fitting. A little bit. But that little bit, you know, through the body makes a difference. So um, that's definitely a difference between that one and this one. Um, while this fits me really, really nice, the sleeves on this are a little bit thinner. I have a little more room in the sleeve on that one and throughout the body on that one. It's just a little bit bigger. This is definitely a trimmer fitting jacket, but it fits really, really nice. Um, However, it just, again, depends on what you want to wear underneath it, um, just so you're aware of. Um, a nice fleece, no problem. A lightweight insulated jacket should be just fine. Anything more than that, I think it's going to get a little bit tight on this one. This one you might be able to get away with a little bit, little bit more. All right? And that's just me, right? Everybody fits something differently. So... But in general, this is a little bit trimmer fitting than that one. But a nice jacket all around. Okay. And um, yeah, I mean, I think that's basically the main differences here that I wanted to show you in two different ski jackets um, from Heli Hansen. The, um, kind of a mid-range ski jacket with a lot of nice features and then a top of the line you know really popular the best-selling jacket here the Alpha 4.0 all right so there you have it thank you very much for watching I hope it kind of helped you out a little bit um, please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel I really do appreciate your support and of course the more subscribers and the more likes and stuff we get on the channel um, the more it moves up and becomes more accessible for people to find and watch. So, and it inspires me too to keep going when I know people enjoy what I'm doing. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully we'll see you back soon in another video. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.